That corn's quivering. Do you see the corn quiver? I'm afraid to touch it. What's it gonna do? Is this popcorn? Is that how you make popcorn? Oh, God! Hey, welcome to Mythical Kitchen, where dreams become food. Listen, I'm glad you clicked on this video because that means you and I have an understanding. We are both of the same mind that this is a good idea. In fact, it is such a good idea that I'm shocked we haven't done it yet. We've done the Blue Takis chicken sandwich, we've done Flamin' Hot Cheeto What's the Majiggets, we've done Dorito Who's My Bobbits, and never a Flamin' Hot Cheeto pizza. But you know what? I wanted to throw myself a softball today. This is gonna be great. Flamin' Hot Cheetos, we're gonna go with some elotes on a pizza, shove it in our face. I already have heartburn from the other things I ate today. Let's keep that train going. This recipe's too cool to fool. That was the name of Chester Cheetah's 1990s side-scrolling video game. All right, we broke the recipe down into three easy steps. I have a full written recipe down in the description. Let's get cooking. Flamin' Hot Cheeto Pizza Dough. We've, 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 done, we've done this before with the Dorito Pizza Dough, but no, this is not similar at all. You know why? Because this is Flamin' Hot Cheeto Pizza Dough. We are using Flamin' Hot Cheeto Limon. Limon actually isn't technically lime in Spanish. There's actually really fascinating etymological history of like limes, not lemons only. So some people, what I'm saying is we're gonna get some sugar blooming in yeast. That's a real thing though. That like, there's only like one word for it in Spanish. Unless any native Spanish speaker, tell me I'm a freaking moron in the comments, but I believe there's literally only one word for both lemon and lime and it's it's like hard to distinguish in certain, anywho. So, I'm gonna take flour. I see pride, I see flour, I see a badass mother who don't take no stuff off of nobody. That's a Cool Runnings is a great movie. So what we're gonna do, uh, mix that up. Add a little bit of salt to that, get that mashing around. What else are we gonna do? Hot Flamin' Hot Cheeto Powder. We've taught you how to make this in the past. It's weird that we have like a recipe for Flamin' Hot Cheeto Powder the same way someone would have a recipe for like Moss Chicken and Dumplings. Nope, we got Mythical Kitchen's Flamin' Hot Cheeto Powder. Tastes like what mom used to make. No, she would make uh, what we called cigarette ash. <laughs> she would make cigarette ash rice aroni. That was her signature dish. And that's the whole thing. So we're gonna go ahead and add, I like how anytime I say something depressing about my childhood, I hear Annalise go, oh. Thank you, Annalise. I'm just gonna mix that up a little bit. And now we're gonna stream in our water, make a nice little dough, simple pizza dough. You know, a little bit of red, red dye number 39, cause we got it on a discount. If I ever say we're using red dye number 40, someone goes like that, hyperactivity in the kids. I'm like, I ain't got no kids. That's the thing. Ow. <laughs> Food dye. My child is just gonna break. All right, we're gonna wing that up. Then eh, oil, forgot to do that, but oil is part of dough. Flamin' Hot Cheeto Limon. As I said, uh, limon means lime, kinda, but also maybe just citrus, but also lime. And so what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna hold it right here. I cannot stress this enough. You don't want to palm heel strike it. And I cannot stress this enough that I could beat a cheetah in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Not in the savannah, but in the octagon, I could take a cheetah. They're very small, they're cowardly. Ah, ites, ites. There we go. And that's it. We're gonna add more of these later. Flamin' Hot Cheeto Limon is really funny to me because it's like cherry Dr. Pepper, where cherry is already part of Dr. Pepper and citric acid was already a part of Flamin' Hot Cheetos. So it's basically saying like, hey, we screwed up the recipe the first time. We're just gonna add a little bit more cherry to the cherry thing. We're just gonna add a little bit more citric acid to the citric acid thing. There it is. <laughs> it's all in the nasal cavity. <laughs> Uh, so, red pizza dough. Got some Cheetos in it. This would be good as hell. Why would it not be? It's, it's, it's dough, uh, Cheetos in it. Spices, come on, it's great. I'm gonna take that, lube it up with a little bit more oil. Uh, all right, so we got our pizza dough in a bowl, and now we seem to cover it with like a lid. <laughs> all right, now we're gonna let it rest. Uh, let it rise for four hours. It's like, oh, it's pretty good. Overnight in the fridge, probably better. Not probably, we like tested it. It was better. You just leave it in the fridge for like a while. Corn! I'm gonna put it in the pan and then talk about it, because give me a second, but it's it's mostly, well, I'll tell you what corn is. Corn, it's like a, technically a bear, maybe a berry or something, or like a flower. I don't know what corn is, I'm not gonna be asking yet. I will tell you a difference between field corn and sweet corn, that's a fun thing, people often get it confused. Field corn is like a corn for grain, whereas this is sweet corn, corn that you eat, those different things, great. Now it's in the pan, elotes. Elotes are one of the greatest street foods in the history of the world, uh, probably my favorite street food. People will talk about all the taco trucks, they can talk about all the delicious bacon wrapped hot dogs, and those are absolutely delicious, but for my money, you got two. You got the elote man uh, selling corn that is just doused in mayonnaise. You got the squeezable butter, Valentina hot sauce, tahine, which is the chili lime salt, either Parmesan or cotija cheese, and it's just an absolute freaking delight. And then two, 
Fruteros. Fruit carts, dude. Oh, come to LA and just eat around our fruit carts, man. So I'm doing it right now with the corn. As you can throw the corn in water, uh, but like to me, I just eat corn raw as it is. And also I like when you hit direct heat on it, it's gonna steam from the inside. It's gonna cause the corn juices to boil. Get some nice little texture on it. This is my preferred method to do corn. You do corn any way you want. Also, when you take it off the cob, it's called esquites. That corn's quivering. Do you see the corn quiver? I'm afraid to touch it. What's it gonna do? Is this popcorn? Is that how you make popcorn? Oh God! A little bit more char, a little bit more char. Again, this is going on top of a flaming Hot Cheeto pizza, so it is gonna get what we call a second cook. The first cook is gonna go ahead and be the hot cast iron, then the second cook is gonna go ahead and be the flaming Hot Cheeto pizza. So that's a, you wanna adjust your corn cooking um, for said have has uh, cooks. That corn, what's it doing? It's moving on itself. We are Casper the Friendly Ghost. Ah, son of a biscuit. All right, corn's done. Look at that, char. All right, there's a fun little hack to take the kernels off the corn cobs. Nicole taught me this one, never seen it before in my life. Last night, true story, I de-kerneled eight cobs of corn. It's so like, what would I know about anything? But you put it on an upturned bowl in another bowl, and then when you shuck the kernels off, it just falls into the bowl. Yeah, that kind of works. Yeah, that's right. Uh, okay, well, this is, what, this is what I do. I take it and I go, yeah, and I chop it in half, and then I go, yeah, 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 nah, this is what I did all last night, and then I take it and I just go, nah. There we go, this isn't a good corn knife. Yeah, get yourself a good corn knife. Corn knife. You're gonna go ahead to mythical.com, shh, Nicole? I'm trying to sell the merch. Go to mythical.com, you're gonna go ahead and you buy, you buy a corn knife. What you do, because here's the thing. This is actually how QVC commercials work. I saw Emerald hucking an Instant Pot, and he was like, you can make game day wings. And he just threw sopping wet pressure cooked chicken wings on a plate and it was gross. So this is what you do. You take any product and then you just shell it. You go, this is the best corn knife you'll ever need because it works in a special three part process. First, take the corn out of the pan. You stab it with the corn knife. And then you gotta massage the corn down. Everyone, they don't massage the corn. And then you take the corn knife and you strip it off. Look at how easy that corn comes off, people. Only, thank you. Only three payments of $19.99. But if you get corn knife, here's what you also get. You get corn fingers, because here's the thing. You take the corn and you can move it with the fingers. Corn fingers, everybody. Only one special deal. God, we all labor under the yoke of capitalism. Uh, I'm just gonna, it's corn, corn. <laughs> Every time we do something where I just need to fill time by saying stuff, I'm just gonna say the name of the food that I'm touching. Corn and corn. Beautiful, now we got all our corns. Now all I gotta do is come in and fiddle this little bowl out that Nicole had me put in the bottom of it. For the three part special, over the next 20 minutes, you can get corn bowl. It's a bowl that comes covered in sopping wet corn. I'll mail it to you myself. All right, and then uh, lime. Lime, I'm gonna put lime in it. We're effectively going to use this esquites, delicious mayonnaise corn as the base for our pizza. Kind of like a sauce, except it's not gonna be the base for our pizza because it's gonna go on top of the cheese. <laughs> what the hell did I just say? What were even the implications of that? Why did I say that? I don't care. Gonna be good food. Just watch the video without sound. It's probably easier, honestly, if everyone does that. Add a little bit of black pepper there. Add a little bit of tahine. If you are not on the tahine game, this is a delight. We're using the Parmesan cheese from the little shaky thing. And then we're gonna add a few of this parquet, fresh and creamy taste squeeze. They don't even imply that you shouldn't believe it's not butter. They're like, you know this isn't butter and you'll like it. Add some of the squeezies, yeah. Uh, a little bit of Valentina. Valentina is a really great hot sauce. I'm a big fan of Valentina on mariscos. There we go. Add a little squirt de crema. And then a lot of the Eloteros, the corn vendors, they will top all of this on the cob with Flamin' Hot Cheetos. And that was kind of the inspiration behind this. Also, that was the inspiration for actual Flamin' Hot Cheetos. Richard Montañez invented them and said that he was inspired by Eloteros. And that is actually what caused him to create Flamin' Hot Cheetos. So this is kind of like a little all in family recipe. Shoot, that's good. That's gonna be good on pizza, dude. Uh, dough, red, cause Cheetos, but also Cheeto flavor and corns. Corn, corn, corn. Punch down the dough. We're gonna roll out this pizza dough, uh, and then we're gonna get it onto a, what's called a pizza pan, and then we're gonna turn that into what I like to call a pizza. This is actually a really lovely texture, despite the violent red color. Maybe not despite the violent red color, because of the violet red color. And we're just gonna go ahead and start working it around. We got a pizza pan somewhere. Bet you can't guess where I'm hiding it. <laughs> you want a nice thin crust, nice New York style, because this is a traditional New York style pizza. Give it, nope, can't flip it, because my hand is so sticky. There we go, that's fine. You know what, screw it. I feel like I get to, you know what, screw it faster than most people in a kitchen would like. But this is what I mean by screw it. Press it out into the pan, honestly, it's, it, it's kind of easier to make pizza that way. There's a weird kind of like um, metastasized growth on that side. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like. Don't like what's happening there. Where's this, where's, where's the pizza knife? What if I told you for an additional $15.99, you could have this here pizza knife. You got metastasized growth on your pizza, you're just gonna take a pizza knife and you're just gonna kind of 
mash the dough around, this part's gonna look messed up. This is gonna stick. Sauce, we're not doing any sauce except for this. Parquet squeeze, 60% vegetable oil spread. What's the other 40%? That's for me to know and for you to find out. <laughs> All right, we're gonna spread this around, <laughs> yes. Uh, Cotija cheese, Cotija, AKA the Mexican Parmesan. Put a nice little dusting of that. This is a very salty, hard cheese. This is uh, Monterrey Jack. It is. <laughs> and then we're gonna take some queso quesadilla, which is a really fantastic melting cheese. We're using some good melting cheeses on this. Yeah, if you like queso quesadilla, queso chihuahua, asadero, uh, start exploring the Mexican canon of cheeses if you haven't already. It's a fun time. And then we're just gonna take, uh, <laughs> we're just gonna take corn. We're gonna take a lot of corn. So we're gonna bake this 500 degrees for about like uh, eight minutes, and then we're gonna pull it, and then uh, the crust just start to develop. And at that point, we're gonna put more butter on it. And then I got some hot Cheetos on there. I want more butter. I missed out on my chance in the 2020 Olympics to be on the Dutch national handball team. 2024, Paris, here we come. Goal! No, he didn't score! He didn't score, go to the replay! I've gotten more flexible since the last time we did that bit that has a very high payoff. Everyone loves that bit. Got a fudged up looking pizza here, man. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna egg wash the outside, and then I'm gonna dust hot Cheetos on this. You'll see. This is what we do, this is what we do. We go, <laughs> 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 this is a culinary technique. You go, eh. You gotta do it because it's gonna cook real fast. So you gotta get the Cheetos on there. We're egg washing because if you were to do this right when you put it in, all these Cheetos burn. You don't wanna burn the Cheetos. And then what you do is you flip it counterclockwise and you go, eh. <laughs> eh. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, you know what? I ate a lot of the hot butter on a flaming Hot Cheeto and that is a good flavor. Dip your Cheetos in butter. Back in the oven you go. <laughs> Look at that. Come on. You ever seen anything that impressive in your life? I don't know what to do. I'll just put some more corn on it. I think that'd be a nice treat for me. That's hot. Um, if you can't tell, a lot of the butter did seep up from the bottom. We didn't know what was gonna happen with that, but I'm glad that it did. That's great. And now, the rest of the garnishes, what do we do? Mayonnaise. Start mayonnaising up your pizza if you don't already. Yup, mayonnaise up that pizza. Mayonnaise already halfway to ranch. Parmesan. Yeah, that's nice. And then the Parmesan clings to this unseasoned ranch. And then what else should we do? What is like a choose your own adventure? A little tahine. That's fun for the kids. Should we crema too? Crosshatch? No, it's too much. Crosshatch? Yup. Like this, like what's happening here. And then get a couple leaves of cilantro for freshness. Just a couple. Cause then it's green. What I would do to be like a total schmuck about this, even though it like really does not make the eating experience better, is I'd put a couple like lime wedges just like randomly on the pizza. You know, is it, it's like, look at, look at, we got limes, you know? This is it, man. Oh, shoot. Oh, dude, 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 dude. Oh, the, oh, yeah, man. Oh, come on. Come on. That's nice. That's a good pizza. Everyone, QVC, 40 years, 29. You can, with one knife. With one corn knife and a couple of corn towels and a corn spoon, we made this pizza. You can buy it from Emerald. He needs more money. Anyways, we made this flaming hot Cheeto Elote's pizza. This is gonna be dummy good. Trevor, they still say dummy? Yeah. That's what's up. Flaming hot Cheeto pizza, Elote's. My mouth, a lot of mayonnaise. In <laughs> my mouth, a lot of mayonnaise. That's what we should have called the show. Give it a little squeeze of lime on there. Throw that up for good luck. And let's dig in. Um, I cannot stress to you how much this has soaked in butter. Uh, this is purely soaked in butter, which is great, because you like corn soaked in butter, why not pizza? <laughs> I pray for can get pizza, man. All right, no, I'll do a little Food Network, little chop thing. Wow, I love how balanced this dish is. You get the little bit of spice off the crust. It's well cooked. You get a nice little crispiness in the bottom, but you see it still pulls. The corn offers a nice pop of sweetness, and then you get the creaminess coming in from the crema and the pizza. A little bit of freshness and spice coming off the cilantro and the hot sauce. This is a well, no, screw that. This pizza, it, I can't say the F word. This pizza Fs, man. No, this simply rolls. Um, the, the corn, it's really evocative of a lote, and then you get all the crunchy. From the Cheeto on there, this feels very hard. Also, maybe the first vegetarian dish that we've done in here, accidentally. Didn't mean to, next time we're probably baking up this here corn, but uh, other than that, this rules, you should make it. But hey, don't take my word for it, take Jasmine's word for it. You know Jasmine. Jasmine, I see you peeking around the corner. <laughs> do you want to eat this flaming Hot Cheeto Elote pizza? I do. Please, dig in. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, no, 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 take that, no, take the, wait, take, take, the, can, take, the, take the pizza, and then I'm gonna pretend to lift this with a spork in your mouth. Also, everybody, this pretend? is Jasmine. Hi. Is this your first time on camera? Yeah. Give people like a little, like a little spiel about yourself. Like uh, if you were on like a dating show, what would you say? Um, that I like pizza? Hey, we'll take, we'll take, okay, okay, I'll try it. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spork this to the edge. Okay. And then you just go in. Yeah, there, there it is, like a duck. Mm. What do you think? Mm. 
Josh is really good. Right? Have you ever had like the elotes on the street in That's LA? exactly what it tastes mm -hmm. like. That's exactly what it is. These are two of my favorite food groups. Jasmine's a new favorite. We stay in Jasmine. Jasmine, where can they find you on social media? At it's Jasmine W. Jasmine, thank you so much <laughs> for, you. for your first spork and everyone clap. Yay! Woo. All right, and thank you all for stopping by the Mythical Kitchen. We got new episodes out for you every week. We got new episodes of our podcast, A Hot Dog is a Sandwich, every Wednesday, wherever you get your podcasts. Hit us up on Instagram at Mythical Kitchen with pictures of your mythical dishes under hashtag Dreams Become Food. Just like Lane did when he and his aunt made the French fry latkes from the three frozen French fry hags. Lane, thank you for supporting Jewry around the world. Uh, diaspora, can everyone clap for juice? Yes. There it is. There it is. We, we, we love, we, all right, I love you, uh, uh, Bubby. Uh, see you all next time. The Mythical Kitchen's favorite way to obliterate garlic immortalized in t-shirt form. Get the Palm Heel Strike tea now at mythical.com.